series of races will be the competition for Top Gas Eliminator. Now the cars used in these competitions are especially built for the quarter mile acceleration. They're the dragsters, but they're using pump gasoline. And it's amazing what they can do with these finely tuned machines. Accelerating up to speeds almost 200 miles an hour and going through the quarter mile distance in slightly over eight seconds. Should be a tremendously competitive event and I see that they're about to get underway with the first race. And lined up on the line, it's Pete Robinson in number 47, the 1962 top eliminator from Atlanta, Georgia, and Harold Amick from Westminster, California, in car number 73. Robinson on the far side, that's Pete Wright, a terrific competitor, and he came on with a big surprise back in 1962, and they're away. Notice the tremendous bump as they get practice with those rear wheels. The race to the finish line is going to be very close, and the winner is Harold Amick of Westminster, California, with a speed of 184.42 miles per hour. Sometimes these drivers look a little like men from outer space, and here's Bob Keith from Santa Fe, California, to tell us why. Well, in the first place, we wear an asbestos fire suit. Uh, this, in case an engine blow up, uh, we don't get burnt. Uh, it's uh, made out of an asbestos material, and uh, it, uh, there's several different companies that make them. They sure help save a lot of people's lives. You have some other articles also, Bob. Yes, sir. We have uh, goggles. These are uh, more or less an aircraft-type goggles. They've got a shatterproof lens in case of flying objects. And then we also have an asbestos glove, which is uh, made out of uh, the same material as the fire suit, with the exception of the inside, which are made out of leather so we can get the steering wheel. And then we have the crash helmet, or as we say in drag racing, the skid lid or brain bucket. And uh, this has felt saved an awful lot of people's lives also. Uh, the most important item, as far as I'm concerned, is the face mask. Uh, this will, in case of a fire, uh, keep you from getting your face burned. It is made out of the asbestos, and it also is lined inside to keep the heat out. The asbestos alone will keep the fire out, but not the heat, so this is why they are lined in the inside. How warm is it inside all this? It gets pretty warm when the sun comes out like it is today. And when the competition is tough. I know you yes, want to sir. get back to that race. You're competing in the uh, competition for top gas eliminator. Good That's luck right. to you. Thank you very much. No, it's not Ringo Starr. It's Gary Cottle of Chicago, Illinois, driving dragster number 110. A rather unusual helmet. I think you'll have to agree. But he also is wearing the face mask and the goggles and the fire protection gloves. Off, and they're away, and Volkov is taking the lead quickly. And a sizable win by George Volkov in a Chrysler-powered machine with a speed of 181.80 miles per hour. This is the first round of Top Gas Eliminator, the final uh, division, and we'll be moving into the semifinals, but now we have one more race left in this round. It'll be Jimmy Nix of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, versus Ron Colson of Oregon, Illinois. Number eight is Jimmy Nix. There's Ron Colson. They're away, but Colson fouls. You notice the timing lights, and it would indicate a foul. Colson is fouled, so Nix automatically will be the winner. Nix uh, backed off the minute he realized that Colson had fouled. Colson's speed was 166, but he is the loser, and so Nix will go into the semifinals. And we'll have the semifinals for Top Gas Eliminator coming up in just a moment from Pomona, California. Now for the semifinals of the top gas eliminator competition. Number eight is Jimmy Nix from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Number 43, George Volkov from Encino, California. Notice how the dragster leaped in the air as he was getting tremendous traction on the rear wheels. And Volkov has fouled. He's leading, but Jimmy Nix is going to be the winner. Volkov speed 181.44 miles per hour, but he got off the line too quickly. Now the other semifinal event, Gordon Collette from Portsmouth, Ohio. Racing against Harold Amick from Westminster, California. Let in number 13. Amick's in number 73. Study his concentration as he watches those lights and they're away. It looks like Colette is having trouble, but Amix is roaring on to the finish line, and the winner is Harold Amix with a speed of 184.04 miles per hour. It appears to be quite a thrill to drive one of these high-powered racing machines. Let's 
take a look at how it looks from the dragster's point of view. Our special camera has been mounted on the front axle. You'll notice how much uh, he moved his hand. He has very close steering, so he will not overcorrect. Moving towards the finish line, and he pops his parachute for braking action. All dragsters are equipped with parachute. Now we get another view over the driver's shoulder. Notice the white line down the drag strip. He tries to keep it on that white line, and he uses that for steering. He doesn't have much time, and he is at the finish line. And starts to slow down. Braking is very important, and he must do it very well.